Phil Robertson of Duck Dynasty gave a speech at a prayer breakfast, and he got weird and dark and creepy. So let's listen to him go after atheists. Maybe if you just buy enough health care insurance, <laughs> that'll keep you out of the ground. I don't think so. Save you money. You got a six-foot hole waiting on you if you have all the health care you can buy. You say, is it going to keep me out of the ground? No, sir. It's a problem. And you know something? You can't solve it. Just like you can't see in your sin problem. Oh, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know, this conscience thing. I mean, we just, we just dreamed it up. There's no right. There's no wrong. There's no good. There's no evil. I'll make a bet with you. Two guys break into an atheist home. He has a little atheist wife and two little atheist daughters. Two guys break into his home and tie him up in a chair and gag him. And then they take his two daughters in front of him and rape both of them and then shoot them. And they take his wife and decapitate her head off in front of him. And then they can look at him and say, isn't it great to not have to worry about being judged? Isn't it great that there's nothing wrong with this? There's no right or wrong. Now is it, dude? And then you take a sharp knife and take his manhood and hold it in front of him and say, wouldn't it be something if this was something wrong with this? But you're the one that says there's no God, there's no right, there's no wrong. So we're just having fun. We're sick in the head. Have a nice day. If it happened to them... they probably would say something about this that just ain't right. This dude's psychologically unbalanced. Did you hear him at the I think he he sounded like his voice cracked like he was crying or he was about to cry as he was talking there. And did you hear the fucking argument he made? So what, if you're a non-believer, that means that you think there's no such thing as right or wrong. You have to be in favor of beheading and rape and pillaging and being a savage if you don't believe in God. No, he's making the oldest, stalest, most, path most pathetic argument that you hear from theists, which is, he just assumes, he's just assuming that morality obviously comes from God, but no, it doesn't. You just made that up. How about that? <laughs> I mean, why? Why does it? Stop, stop and think about it. Why? Uh, and why do you just assume that a atheists equal immoral? That an atheist, by definition, cannot believe rape is wrong or beheading is wrong? It, what's funny is that it's actually the opposite. That if the only reason why uh, Phil Robertson thinks that rape is wrong and beheading somebody's wrong and murder is wrong and all this stuff, if the only reason you think that is because of God, then you're the truly immoral person. Because you want to know why? I would never rape anybody, I would never behead anybody, I would never steal anything, I would never do any of that stuff. Why? Because it's a bad idea. It, those it, acts are intrinsically bad in and of themselves. You don't need validation from a supernatural, made-up, metaphysical sky fairy that doesn't exist. No, the, the reason why I don't rape, the reason why I don't it, murder is because it's illogical not to rape or murder or do any of those things. Look, again, I know I've made this argument before, so you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but there's an argument in favor of morality, not only from an evolutionary perspective, but from a logical perspective. You know, the idea of, you know, treat other people as you would like to be treated, it predates religions. The idea is, well, if I fuck with that person, well, then that person might end up fucking with me. If I harm that person, if I take their shit, if I piss them off in one way or another way, then I'm actually doing self-harm if I do that. Because then I'm setting myself up down the road for something to happen to me in a, in a negative way. For that person to retaliate uh, on me. And I'm basically getting what I'm asking for if I do something negative to that person. So there's a logical self-preservation, you know, thing going on there. Where it's like, well, I wouldn't hurt you because I'm going to get hurt. But even putting that aside, just 
by virtue of the fact that you're a human, you know, you have two eyes, you have a nose, you have a body like I have a body, you're very similar to me, I see me in you, I see me in every human I look at, there's, we're all the same, I mean, we're all, I know it sounds corny, but we're all made up of the same stuff, we're all stardust, as uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson likes to say, literally, we're stardust, so I, I don't, hurt people and I don't do immoral things because those I don't want to do those things. Penn Jillette has a great saying. He's like whenever a, a religious person is like, "Well, dude, if you don't believe in God, how do you, you know, why why are you not murdering people and hurting people?" He's like, "I already murdered all the people I want to murder." Zero. How about you? How about you? So the only reason you're not killing people is because you have a supernatural thing that doesn't even exist mentally holding you back. Well, then you're really a savage. You're holding back primitive impulses, and the only thing stopping you is the fear of something that's not really there. So you're the really immoral person. I do the acts because the acts are good in and of themselves. You're just doing it because you're avoiding punishment from your cosmic daddy. It's scary to listen to guys like this, man. It's scary to listen to guys like this. And I can't stress enough the fact that it's, you're arguing from a stereotype, you've never read any of the counter-arguments, if you just believe that, like, what, an atheist will look at somebody beheading somebody or hurting somebody and go, well, I guess that's what it is, I guess there's no right or wrong. We can't have m moral beliefs if we don't believe in your version of God, in your particular religion. No, you have things that are universal, whether you're talking about Shinto, Islam, uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, there's all these different religions in the world, and in all these different places, murder is still illegal! So, they were able to figure it out without your particular bullshit religion, so what do you mean that, what, people wouldn't be- He acts like if it wasn't for Christianity and God, like, we would all still be, you know, doing- the most insane kinds of tribalistic things to each other on a daily basis. Like, every day you'd wake up and have to worry about somebody running into your house and eating your baby, or chopping off your wife's head, or all these different things. No, it's not religion that's stopping that from happening. There are many other things that go into it. It's a very complex thing, and oftentimes, if anybody carries out the atrocities, it's done in the name of the religion.